All right, welcome back to PE Academy. So this is, we are still talking about nodal analysis. So here we are looking at example three. So if you mix the other parts, um, you can check the description of this video, you'll find a link to the other parts where, where we've done two other examples and then our um, introduction on that nodal analysis. So now let's look at these circuits. Unlike the previous examples that we looked at, we just have two meshes, but now we are having one, two, three, and then we have more elements in this particular circuit. So here we are, what uh, exactly we are looking for is we are looking for the value of VA and VB. That means, so the question is asking us to find the voltage at node A and the voltage at node B. So the voltage at node A, that means these two nodes. So this is a node here, this is a node. And don't forget, I've said earlier, the, what is a node? A node is a point of uh, connection, you know, where two or more, I mean three or more um, elements, they are, they are points of intersection. So if you are still not clear on the difference between a node, a mesh, a loop, and uh, branches and all these things, I've done a video explaining those those terms. All right. Now let's follow the step by step I gave earlier on how to solve nodal analysis. I said the first thing you do is to identify how many nodes do you have in that particular circuit. So I want you to look at this circuit, for example. How many nodes do you think are in this circuit? So take your time to look at it closely and just write it down. How many nodes do you think we have in this particular circuit? All right. So once you have done that, then you pick one as your reference node. So the first question, how many nodes do we have? Now, the question I've gone far to tell us that we should look for the voltage at this node here, this node here. So that means this is a node, this is a node. So another node that we are having here is a combination of this. This is a node. Because this is a point of intersection. I mean, this is a point that is connecting one, two, this and this. So the fact that there's nothing here, so don't make the mistake of, so let me just redraw this diagram. Let me just draw the lower parts. So here we are having this, um, and then we are having this, we are having this, okay, we are also having, um, and then towards the end we are having this. So I'm just drawing the lower part. So don't just make a mistake of saying this is also a node, and this is a node, exactly. So there's nothing in between here, there's nothing here, so it's just like having everything meeting at this point just like having it let's just say we have a, a, um, you know everything meeting at this point so that's what is happening here all these things from this place like this is taken as a word as a node so once we there are more examples like that that can be very or question that you might come across that might be uh, confusing like that so don't make the mistake you look at it closely this is just like having a wire to just to make the diagram neat exactly so it, it's the same Thing as having a diagram look like this let me let me just draw it out in full so it's just like having the diagram like this uh, let's see and then you have this and then you have um, from here And then you also have so you can see that everything I'm, they are meeting here this it makes this place a node and that's the same thing is ha that is happening here so the difference between these two is the fact that this is just you know drawn they are more uh, spaced unlike here where everything is just coming straight instead of what we are having here maybe the, before they come like this you know this one should come straight like this you know exactly so this is also the same thing the only dif so that makes this place a node this node that we are having here, this is it. This is what I suck here like this. So this is a node. All right. So I, I hope that is clear there. So don't make a mistake of calling this particular point a node, and this is also a node. So they are together. That is, is what makes it a node. All right. So now, since we've been able to identify the nodes, this is one. This is one. This is the third one. So this one is what we are going to pick as our reference node, and then we we'll take it to be zero. So having done that, we've identified the node, we've picked our reference node. Now let's give it some random direction for our current before we apply Kirchhoff current law. So for this particular circuit, you can choose whatever current direction you want to pick. It's left for you, to you. If you once you do that, you still will still arrive at the same answer. So for this now, I'm just going to pick um, something like this for my own um, current direction, and then for this particular node, I'll just take it to be like this. So what does, what does this mean? So that means for this particular node, 
we have just one incoming current so that means current is coming through this one and it's living through these two branches that means here and here they are outgoing why for this we have in two incoming incoming here incoming and one outgoing here so now what we do is since we are having two nodes unlike the other example where we, last two example we had just only one node that we are uh, making reference to you know, apart from the reference node we had just one but now we are having two nodes i'm not talking about this now we are having two nodes so what we do is we pick it one after the other so what we are going to say is now is apply catch off current law to node to node va that means to this node exactly so what do we do we look at what, what are uh, the incoming currents so from here we have now there's no need to, for you to start doing something like this unlike the previous example this is another thing you have to pay attention there's no need to be having zero minus va and okay then over uh maybe over four or whatever no if, because if you look at this closely we already have a current on this on this part on this particular branch there's already a current of 12 amp that means whatever current that is here is the same current that is flowing through this four ohms resistor so you can go ahead and write it as 12 I hope that is clear. So that is the only current that is entering into this node VA. Don't forget that is what we are considering now. Apply apply KCL to node VA. This is the node that we are putting into consideration. All right. So 12 then that equals two. So let's look at the outgoing current. So for the outgoing current, so let's start with this. From this point VA to the reference point. So since it is from this VA to the reference point, we are going to be having VA minus zero. There's no that in then divided by the resistor which is 10 ohm resistance the resistance of 10 ohms another outgoing current which, which will now be plus now the place on the direction we pick that means from VA to the next node which is VB so we are going to be having VA minus VB now if you look at it closely you see that there is a voltage in between it so let me add the polarity the longer side is positive the shorter is negative so, based on this direction, that is from positive to negative, that would be minus 20. On this side, between this node, VA and VB, we also have a, what, a resistance of 5 ohms. So, that will be divided by what? By 5. So, now we've been able to, break, to, uh, to apply KVL to this node. So, let's just simplify what we are having here. So, this is going to be 12 equals to, so this, you can just, this is just LCM, that will be 15 sorry you can just use 10 that's 10 so we are going to be having VA 10 divided by 5 that's 2 2 multiplied by everything that we are having here so we are going to be having plus 2 VA plus 2 VB and then multiply by 2 minus 40 is that good are we good so now we can continue so this you can also multiply this 10 with this so we are going to be having uh, VA, VA. So we're going to be having three VA. I hope you're on the same page. This is just the normal math. Three VA plus two VB minus forty equals to one twenty. So this is just like over one. Once we cross multiply, it becomes twelve times ten, one twenty. So what can we still do here? We can have it as three VA plus two VB equals to what? 120 if this minus 40 comes to the other side of the equals to sign it becomes plus 40 so with that we are going to be having okay so let me just continue on the other side so let's just continue here so this will be um, 3 VA plus 2 VB equals to 160 so this is our equation one after applying kvl to node va we are arrived at this equation I hope, I, hope, I hope that is clear so let me just create some uh, kind of demarcation here so that we don't mix things up all right so that's equation one after so after applying kvl to the um first node Alright, so before we continue, there's a mistake I want to correct with the sign. So this is uh, minus VB, this will be minus 2VB. So 
please let's be careful when you are solving yours also be careful with the signs so this is minus 2 vb and then minus 2 vb so this will be minus 2 vb so in case you saw uh, you saw that why solving good ones i've also spotted it all right so now this is the correct thing so now let's continue now what we've done to node VA, we are going to do the same thing to node VB. So we'll apply catch of current law to node to node VB. So once we do that, we are going to be having something like this. So in node VB2, we also have two incoming, one outgoing. Exactly. So the equation there is this is an incoming. So from here to here. So we are going to be having VA minus VB. VA minus VB is similar to what we are having here and then minus 20 divided by 5 that is if then plus so we are we have another incoming current towards uh, VB from the reference to VB that will be plus that will be 0 since it's from the reference to 0 then minus VB so in between we have um, a voltage source here so this is plus, this is minus. And in this direction, remember this is the direction here. And it's the same thing as writing it like this. You know, it's going like this, like this. So this is from minus to plus. So that will be plus 10 divided by 5. Are we good? So that is it then. Then equals to, these are just the two incoming. So the outgoing. So from VB to the reference. So that will be VB minus zero so i can just let me just keep that to zero let me just write it vb minus zero i hope you can still see that okay then we have okay so this is plus and minus so in this direction coming from vb to the reference point we have a voltage source which is from plus to minus in this direction since it is coming down so that will be minus 15 minus 15 i hope you can still see that then there's not that apart the next thing we have is the 5 ohm resistor over 5. So now let's break this down. So here we are having, so here we can just, um, so this is just LCM. It's 5. So we are having VA minus VB minus 20. 5 divided by 5, that is 1. We need to multiply everything here. So we are going to be having minus VB plus 10. We just want to multiply everything here. This zero is out. So that's equals to VB minus zero is out. Then minus 15 divided by 5. So if you are finding value in this thing, please give it a, in this um, under the analysis in this video, please give it a thumbs up. So at this junction, we can cross multiply. So if you cross multiply, we use 5 to multiply this. We use 5 to multiply this. So since we are having 5 as a denominator on both sides, they can just both cancel out. Exactly. It saves us more time than cross multiplying and then dividing again. All right, so now let's simplify what we are having here. So let me just write that again. So now we are having VA minus VB minus 20 minus VB plus 10 equals to VB minus 15. So now let's rearrange these things to make it look more neater. So we are having VA. I think that's the only VA we are having. All right, so VA. And then we have a VB minus VB minus VB. If this VB comes to this side, it also becomes minus VB. So that means we are having minus 3 VB. This is V. Minus 3 VB. I think that's all we did. So now let's do then equals to let's put the numbers at the other side. So we're having minus 15 already. So we are having a minus 20 plus 10. So that will give us minus 10. So if minus 10 should go to the other side, it becomes plus 10. So plus 10 minus 15, that will give us minus 5. And this is our equation 2. Alright, so let's see if we are, we are still correct. Okay. So let me just go through this again to see if everything is correct. Alright, so now we've got our equation, equation 1 and 2. So let me just clean this part so that we can have more space to work with. So now let me just write it out. So we've got now equation 1 to be 3VA minus 2VB equals to 160. And our equation 2 is um, VA 
that's just like one VA. One VA minus three VB equals to minus five. So once we solve this equation on one and equation on two simultaneously, we we'll get the answer for uh, of our VA and VB. So you can use uh, this is just a two unknown. So you can just use some um, elimination or substitution method to solve it, or you can use your calculator. So if you want to use the calculator, just like I uh, I did earlier when we were doing super mesh. So once you are with your 991 like this, 991 MX. So you press your mode two three times. You press number one for equation. We have how many unknown? We are dealing with two unknown. So you press two, and then this will appear. So for A one, the value is three. So when you, so you press three, you press three, and then you press your equals two. It will ask you for B one. So B one is the value for B one is minus two. So you press minus two, and then your equals two button. It will ask you for C one. So our C one is one sixty. So once you type in one sixty. And press your equals to sign. So you ask it for a2. a2 is 1, which is this one here. So once you press 1, your equals to ask for b2. b2 is minus 3. So you press minus 3. Then to ask for c2. c2 is minus 5. So here we have our x is 70 and our y is 25. So what that means is that our VA, our VA is 70 volts, and our VB is equals to 25 volts and with that we've been able to answer this question we've been able to get the value of VA and VB that means the voltage at this particular node is what is 70 why the voltage at this particular node is given to be what to be 25 and we've been able to get that those values using what using nodal analysis using nodal analysis now that's this for this example 3 while in that example 4 we are going to be going a little deep into nodal analysis such that we are not only going to be looking for the voltage at the node, we are also going to be looking for the current in each of these elements that we are having here. Like in the resistor, the question might ask you that, okay, we'll find the voltage at the nodes and also the current in the, um, in the elements, like the current flowing through each of these elements or the resistor using nodal analysis. Because there are other analysis, other methods you can use to solve questions like this. But once the question asks you that, and state specifically that you use nodal analysis to find the voltage in a particular node and also the current flowing in some, some of the elements. So how do you go about it in nodal analysis? So that's what I'm going to be covering in the next video, which is example four. So if you find value in this, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments, leave it in the comment section below. And if you are yet to subscribe, please click on that subscribe button. So with that, I'll see you all in example four.